again. Uh, uh, my name's Gacko, and each week for Eureka at Home, uh, I write a little song. Um, I think this is my third song now, and the last two weeks I've written some kind of umpa umpa funny songs, I suppose, or songs that you can join in with or dance around to. And this week I thought I'd try a ballad or a, or a slow song, something that um, isn't necessarily dancey, hopefully it's something that... Um, can help you think about things and that's what songs can do or when you're making songs up anyway they can help you think about things and dissect things and um, and get your thoughts moving and we've all got particularly interesting thoughts I suppose at the moment with coronavirus so each week we have um, we have a theme I work with Ian the storyteller and Professor Pumpernickel the scientist and we talk in advance and we, we come up with a common theme that we all share. And we, so our routines are all loosely linked. And you can find their, their 10 minute films here on um, the Eureka site as well. Uh, so this week's theme was colour. And, uh, and I struggled for a long time this week to find a hook, an idea for my song, something to talk about. It's easy to write shalala songs but it's it's more interesting to think of words and poetry I suppose uh, and it was my wife that came up with the idea of colour because she said well what about all the rainbows in the window that children are making and I thought what a great idea it's a wonderful expression of art uh, of millions of children painting rainbows and putting them in the windows of their houses so that other people can see them and feel uplifted and that's what those rainbows do they uplift people so that's what this week's song is about. And don't forget, you can write your own songs. Um, the best way is to sit down with a pen and paper and think about what you want to do and, and start writing. And sometimes you'll scribble it and throw it all away and other times it'll come. You need to think about rhymes and sometimes rhymes are easy and sometimes rhymes are hard. Um, but there are things that can help. If you have a, a rhyming dictionary on your bookshelf, you can use a rhyming dictionary to help you, or if not, there, there's a website, a great website, it's called The Rhyming Dictionary. I'll get the link posted below. And sometimes you find that words repeat all the time and you need a new one. So I use a thesaurus. I've got a thesaurus on the bookshop, but there's also a great website uh, and a thesaurus helps you find different words that mean different things. And that can take you writing off into all kinds of um, all kinds of avenues if you get stuck in a cul-de-sac. So, um, I hope you enjoy this week's song. It's a ballad and it's all about your work. Uh, all the millions of children that have painted rainbows and put them in their windows. Or painted rainbows for other people. My mum got given a rainbow. In fact, everybody in her street was given a rainbow by somebody's grandchild. And it looks fabulous. So this week's song is Rainbows. I hope you enjoy it. And it goes like this. The seasons turn around, we're house bound, and I've got itchy. So 
of children painted rainbows to bright and dark a day. To bright and dark a day. Music, words, and art soothe aching hearts. That much is true. So sharpen up your pencils and compose. Keep creating, make your colours bold. It's people matter, not that pot of gold. A myriad of marvellous artists lifted spirits when we were downhearted. So thank you for in your windows that splash of vivid colours from your homes a kaleidoscope etched with crayons and felt pens are shining in the darkness of a world that's monochrome and as each colour There's this week's song. I hope you enjoyed Rainbows. And remember, you can write songs too. All you need are verses and choruses 
and words and poetry, I suppose. And then you can add music or you can just recite things as poems. It doesn't have to be a song. You don't need instruments to create words. So thank you for watching. See you next week here at Eureka.